ton crazy seats for you folks, but um, I think I'll need to shave first. Alright, that's much better. Let's go. Anyway, that was totally unimportant, but today we have 10 awesome seeds for you guys. Took a while to gather this. It's really, really good seeds packed into one compact video. Well, relatively compact because 10 seeds, it's never easy to cover them really fast, but I'll try my best. And I'm not overhyping this. Everything in this seed video is super rare stuff. So hopefully you folks will enjoy it. If it's your first time to the channel, do consider subscribing. And there's something for everyone here. We got mansion seeds, we got glitchy seeds, seeds with awesome villages. We've got seeds with awesome shipwrecks and pyramids that are glitched into villages as well. Well, something for everyone. Without further ado, let's go to seed number one. So this here is seed number one. You'll always find the seed numbers on the video description and the pinned comment section. Always copy paste. Typing this manually, uh, you'll probably screw it up at uh, don't add spaces behind or before. So just uh, get it right so you get the right seed. Okay, let's start. Right before showing you each seed, I'm going to show you an overview of the world map just so that you know what you're getting into. This seed has a good assortment of biomes. We've got an ocean monument near spawn. We've got ice spikes not too far from spawn as well. Huge jungles as well, including a bamboo jungle down here and over on this side. Seed number one, however, is all about the spawn. So this is spawn, not a bad location at all, right by a river. Well, who cares about a river, right? But when you turn around, check out this awesome Woodlands Mansion with a nice mountain going on behind it. But of course, the highlight is this Savannah Village right over here. And it's also partially glitched inside the mansion, of course. The village itself, it's not quite bad at all. It's multi-biomed. You got some of the structures on top of the desert biome over there, including some farmland on top of water. But the real highlight is these buildings here that are glitched inside the mansion. If I go right inside this wall, that part of the building is inside the mansion. It goes, well, in this direction as well. Oh, <laughs> check that out. Wait, wait, is that farm part of the mansion or the village? No, that is part of the mansion. However, if we go through this wall here, there's an entire building that is stuck inside a mansion. And I always think these kind of glitches are cool. I wonder if we can actually get inside the house from here. No, it's actually enclosed. I wonder if there are any villagers stuck inside. Let's have a look. Uh, luckily no, so whoever built this house here, he's okay, he's okay, he's safe. Under the mansion we also have, well, there's a mine shaft down there. Overall, not a bad way to start this top 10, and believe me, I've got a lot more coming. Oh, by the way, and I did listen to you guys in the comments section, some of you said try and do it without shaders, so why not? But if some of you want shaders back, just let me know and I'll, I'll mix things up for you. Let's get this rolling. This one is seed number two. If you like the previous one, do consider putting that thumbs up button. And if you're not subscribed yet, do consider doing that as well. Here's an overview of seed number two. Again, most of these seeds today will focus on spawn, but this one has a few interesting things other than spawn. We got one, two, three pyramids very close to spawn. This village here and this village here is quite interesting because they're cross biome, including this village over here. We'll run through all of them real quick. Actually, this one as well. Crap, there's a lot of good villages here, so uh, yeah, let's uh, let's try and go through them fast. So as expected, this village here is pretty good. Coordinates are always on the top left-hand corner of your screen, by the way. It's a plains village, partially on a plains biome and partially on a desert biome, and that always makes for some pretty interesting looks. Alright, I'm glad I checked these coordinates out as well. Awesome Shattered Savanna in the background. Check this out as well, folks. We have a shipwreck that is partially over water. And this village here is sort of the exact reverse of the previous village. This time, it's a desert village that is partially in a plains biome. Looks very good. Again, adds more rarity to this seed. I mean, check that out for looks. This is not half bad at all. And you haven't even seen the spawn yet. The spawn is amazing. Right, this one is sort of interesting. Very odd looking desert hills right here. So you've got like this cave thing going on here. I don't even know what this is, but it looks good. It looks good. And right behind it is another plains slash desert village. Now we've had three of those in the in this seed already, so I guess I guess that's enough for the desert slash plains village. Let's go look for something else, shall we? So here's something unique as well. We've got a desert pyramid, which is right by a jungle biome. Like, it's li it's literally crossing it. And then you've got a bamboo jungle right behind it as well. And if you look further at the background over there, we do have a jungle pyramid as well. Do check out the loot on that side. The only loot I'm going to check is the one inside this desert pyramid. Hopefully, we find some good enchants. Well, two emeralds and a saddle, pretty good. Strings are always good for early game. And, okay, enchanting book. Hopefully, this is something good. Sweeping edge. Well, not what I expected, but well, yeah, I mean, yeah It could have been better. So more emeralds some gold ingots, but this is very close to spawn So it's worthwhile not too bad not too bad 
Alright, so let's just go head on over to spawn, which is just towards this direction. And let me just show you the scenery on the way there. It's basically bamboo jungles all around over here. And I mean, check that out. Bamboo jungle, desert on one side. It's literally an oasis over here. And then you've got this awesome, awesome shattered savanna. It's a pretty big one as well. I love Shattered Savannas, if you've been following my videos, you know that this is one of my favorite biomes, but then uh, right behind it on one of the sides, I cannot remember which one, we actually have an awesome village. Oh, there we go, there we go. That is where we spawn, right there at this super glitched out village. Check out all the biomes that it's in, it's in a birch forest, it's also in a desert biome, partially in a Shattered Savanna, right next to a bamboo jungle. It's all the right combinations. Now, uh, just to prove that that is the place where we spawn, I'm just gonna, well, I guess, uh, let's just take a free fall and we'll go back to spawn. And as you can see, we're right here and check this out. This is, this is a super awesome place to spawn. So this is the view from inside the village. The shattered savanna looks absolutely awesome. Got some bread early on. I mean, well, you, you know, food early on is not so bad. Lots of hay bales, you can trade it back to the farmers. Do watch out with these caves here. I mean, a lot of these sands are bound to just, uh, well, collapse like that. So do watch out. So a lot of the buildings here, they're sort of floating just because of how the terrain generated here. It's really, it's, it's sort of a... I guess it's a beautiful mess, that's what I would call it. And I just love the sort of desert tones going into the greeneries. It just feels lush. It's 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 like an oasis. And when it comes to this seed right here, spawn is truly paradise. Now I think I need to take a good screenshot of this location. That looks good. Alright, that was seed number two. Let's speed things up even more. Seed number three. Here's the seed number for seed number three. Now, we're gonna have to spend a little bit more time on the seed map this time, because this is a tier S seed. Uh, well, people usually call it a god tier seed. It's one of those seeds that have all the important biomes and structures within 2,000 blocks radius from spawn. So we're gonna analyze that a little bit before we actually get into it. All right, here we go. Check this out. You spawn right over here. There's two awesome villages near spawn. In fact, three. You've got one that's partially in a swamp and plains biome, another one partially in a swamp and giant tree taiga biome, which is one of the rarest biomes in game as well. You even have the giant spruce taiga variant over here and right next to it over here, you've got taiga mountains as well. Another village in between biomes over here, and also you've got this, which is the highlight of the seed. A mushroom island with a village right next to it. Hopefully the village extends inside the mushroom biome as well. We also have a bamboo jungle very close to spawn with a stronghold underneath. Potentially, we have another fortress that is very close to spawn as well. We'll check that out pretty soon. And right next to that mushroom island, we also have a Badlands biome. So all the rare biomes. This seed is super. We've got tons of ocean monuments. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight. There, there's just too many, to be honest. And over here, this stronghold, well, potentially it might be an exposed one. We'll find out now. So this here is spawn, and look around you, you've got the giant tree taiga biome right on that side, and if you turn around, swamp biome here, and you've got a village right at spawn as well, which is partially in a swamp biome, which is pretty cool, of course. You also have a librarian right at spawn, so potential for pretty good enchants, looting 3 is pretty amazing. And if you don't like the enchants on this guy, all you gotta do is just break that lectern, he'll turn normal again, place it back, and then you'll get, well, a different enchant each time so you can keep repeating that until you get something useful here's the second closest village to spawn and check out how multi biome it is we've got a swamp biome at the bottom a little bit of a desert biome towards the right that's like the tiniest desert biome i've ever seen maybe it's a is that a would that be a coast or a riverside thing i'm not sure we've got a giant tree taiga biome towards the left and regular taiga biomes towards the top and I do believe that is a sunflower plains biome. So, well, so many biomes at one location. The Taiga village doesn't look too bad either. It's, well, it's it's pretty well sized. You've got buildings all the way up to the back. And you've also got a hidden ruined nether portal right behind it. Where was it? Okay, it's right there. And, well, maybe there's good loot. Let's check it out. Hopefully Silk Touch. I always hope for Silk Touch when you look at these things, but uh, well, Efficiency 3 Golden Shovel, that's not too bad. Golden Sword with Fire Aspect is not too bad. I mean, you get to, well, if, if you kill mobs early on, they get cooked straight away, so that's not bad. And check out the scenery on this giant tree, Taiga Hills. Check that out. That is just awesome. So, man, so many awesome biomes here, and we're not even at the main highlight yet. Oh, uh, I might as well show you an example of that sword. All right. 
Uh, well, stay there and there you go. Cooked pork chop times three. Not bad. Quality of life. I gotta say, this spot right here, I mean, check the coordinates on the top left. It actually looks pretty good. I like this little, well, this little hidden area here. So not always about villages. I also like good sceneries. They're just a lot harder to find. So when I find something like this, I think I will keep it in the video. The rivers on this side is also a good candidate for your building spot as well. I mean, check that out. That is not bad at all. Now, this is cool. This seems to be where the river starts. It doesn't usually start like this. Like, normally, it doesn't really make sense in Minecraft. But here you've got a waterfall and then the river stream going from here all the way towards that side. I think that's kind of cool as well. A uh, very nice river going on on this seed so far. So just a quick footnote as well. On these coordinates, we actually have an igloo with basement, which of course is pretty rare. How do I get in? Oh, there we go. Okay, from this side, well, there's the basement. And as usual, underneath you've got your combination of these two villagers. I'm just going to let them fight them out. And if you need to cure them, you've got a splash potion of weakness over here and a golden apple on the other side. Now, how's that for a village? This one is around 700 blocks away from spawn. We've got a village being split by a ravine. And oh, that farmer is a very dangerous place to farm. That's all I got to say. And even more precarious is the fact that this water bit here, well, um, yeah, it's, it's it's defying gravity. So if I, uh, I mean, if, if I swim on top, it's fine. But if you accidentally, well, if you forget to swim or if the farmer forgets to swim, well, you're going to fall down like so. Well, spectator mode, of course. And over here, we've also got a structure partially in the ravine, which looks pretty good as well. Overall, oh, that's a pretty good village. Check out the background scenery as well. So very good addition to the seed. And by the way, it's not possible to get water to generate this way. It, this, this only happens when a seed generates. You can't actually have water without anything underneath like this. It, it just doesn't happen. Okay, screenshot. Okay, time for the main highlight of this seed. Check out this mushroom biome over here. And right behind it is a savanna village that is linked to the mushroom biome. I gotta say, it's partially inside it. I mean, this structure is definitely inside the mushroom biome. Just to prove it, I'm standing on top of the structure and it does say biome mushroom field shore. Of course, having a village right by a mushroom biome is probably one of the rarest things to find in game other than Woodlands Mansion glitches. So, well, this is definitely an awesome seed. Not only do we have a village by a mushroom biome, again, it's a tier S seed, so definitely worth building on this world. Time for a quick screenshot. All right, just as I was about to end this seed, I found something else that makes this seed even more awesome. Right, so I made another portal right by this village. I mean, I would assume if you're going to play on this seed, you'll probably, well, want to build somewhere here. If you go inside the nether portal, check out where you spawn. So that's where the portal spawns. And well, I mean, it's not the most hospitable location. It is the nether after all. But if we just go behind here, you've got a bastion right under your portal which is pretty much right under your nose. And you know what else is right under your nose? If you just turn around, you've got another fortress right here. That is absolutely perfect location-wise. And for your convenience, this is the location of the first blaze spawner. Yeah, anyway, coordinates top left for your second blaze spawner. Oh man, oh man, this seed is just too good. It's just too good. I should not have put this on my top 10 list. Uh, <laughs> there's just too many good things on it. This is insane. All right, check out these coordinates. Well, you've got it on the top left. Um, they're going to disappear in a moment because I've got to go to spectator mode. So, right. Over here, you'll find this little cave opening. And, well, okay, first of all, there is a stronghold down here. I just haven't found it yet. But if we go towards this side of these holes over here, we've got this big glitchy ravine right here. And there's even, right, there's even a mine shaft right under this ravine. And there's a sort of a waterfall going on. So if I go back to creative mode, this right here, there's no water on it. But you got like this wall of water, which <laughs> that, it just looks super cool. And not sure if you noticed yet, but behind the waterfall is, well, a ruined nether portal. This is such a good combination. Now, I know if I look just a little bit more, we will find that stronghold somewhere. Right, keep in mind we're at an entirely different location right now, because I couldn't find the stronghold on that one. The seed map lied to me. But <laughs> over on this side, check this out, check this out. We've got an ocean monument right there, which is always useful for farms. 
You've got your ravine right next to it, and check what's inside the ravine. We've got a stronghold right there, guys. Perfect combination. What a good seed. Uh, I think it's gonna be hard to get, find a better seed than this one in this top 10, but you never know. Sometimes it just keeps getting better somehow. And this stronghold is so glitchy. I mean, it's such a mess. All right, that is seed number... I'm trying to think. Wow, that was seed number three, and I, I still got seven more to go. So I, I am, I'm gonna have to speed this up. I hope you guys like this seed. I thought this one was amazing. Thumbs up if you agree. And well, uh, before I go to seed number four, I'm gonna go out and have some dinner. So I'll be back with you in like one second, probably. All right, I'm back. Just like I said, I would be back. Uh, pff, this was uh, this is actually 48 hours later. I had dinner, came back. I had the worst friggin' hiccups. I couldn't even sleep, and uh, 48 hours of hiccups. That was that, that that that's an odd thing to have. Anyway, without further ado, seed number four, and I hope I hope the hiccups don't come back. Uh, seed number on your bottom left. So here's spawn. Spawn's not bad. You got this awesome mountain range in the back, and bamboo jungles right on this side. Here's a ruined portal right by the bamboo jungle on these coordinates. Again, always on your top left. Check this out. This is a really awesome village. It's around a thousand blocks away from spawn. Check it out. It's, uh, I call it an Alps village just cause it's, well, it's like an alpine village. You've got it on multi-layers like so. It looks really good and a lot of spots to build here. And if you go on to this part over here, uh, let's go to ground level. I mean, this is, this is how you're gonna look at the village, right? If you're actually gonna build on it. It looks really good and underneath you've got a massive, massive ravine with mine shaft. Check out this floating sort of, not really floating, but a house on a ledge on top of a ravine. Very nicely laid out, and the ravine, I believe, has some village roads down here, and it also leads to another ravine that leads to another ravine. Basically, ravine-ception right here. By the way, not the smartest place to build a house, uh, this guy here. So around 2,000 blocks away from home, we have, well, exposed stronghold. I always love them, they're always cool to have, so I'll just show you real quick. Aha, it's right here over on these coordinates, right? You can see it on the top left now. I mean, it's only ever so slightly exposed, but still an exposed stronghold is an exposed stronghold. So enjoy exploring. I'll be back after I restart this up. Uh, the main highlight, the main highlight now. Okay, back on. Hopefully no more freezes. I, I don't know why it's been freezing a lot. Right, so the main highlight of this seed is actually right at spawn. Uh, well, this is not where you spawn, so uh, let me just uh, do a little slash kill self. Check this out. This is right where you spawn. It's not a bad spawn location at all. That was the bamboo jungles that we were exploring, and if we look to our left right here, we have a village by a bamboo jungle by a mansion. I I, I I love that combo. It's just, it's so lush. I mean, you have something that's intimidating on one side over here. Well, well it depends. I mean, if, 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 you, if you conquer the mansion and you clear it out, it becomes an awesome starting base, to be honest. I mean, you don't need to do much work. You don't need to be good at building things that look cool, it's already, it's already good by itself. And then you have the bamboo jungle on the other side. Great source for scaffolding and for, well, um, well, you can eat it in real life. I don't think you can eat it in Minecraft, but it's also a pretty good fuel source. Anyhow, the village is not bad at all. As you can see on this side here, it goes ever so slightly into the bamboo jungle. Unfortunately, no houses in the bamboo jungle, but I'm okay with that. We do have some structures inside the jungle bit of the biome. And over on this side here, we also have a ravine. This was the ravine that I was looking for all along. So what a good combination to have at spawn, folks. That's a... Uh... Yeah, that... That, yeah... I mean, good luck getting back home, buddy, but yeah. Uh, ravine is pretty nice size-wise, and is it a double ravine again? No, it's not one of those Inception ravines anymore. I do believe that the village is slightly inside the mansion as well. Again, we have one of these really cool houses that, well, uh, are not, are not really uh, livable. Well, we can fix that. But I think the damage is done. We already have a villager stuck down there. Anyway, let's have a quick look at the mansion side of things and see if there's some glitches going inside. Let's see. Kind of dark. Well, we have a little bit of that roof going on there, but that's about it, I guess. So, well, you don't always need to have super glitches. Sometimes it's nice to have the mansion just fully intact like so. Well, overall, I really like this seed as well. 
I still think the previous seed was insane, but in terms of spawn, I think this one, well, this one I think ousts the previous one, in terms of spawn, at least. Now, how do I take a screenshot with both the village and the mansion and the bamboo jungle? Kind of impossible. Picture time. I know I'm not supposed to do this because this might end up making me want to go to more spots, but okay, this is the overview of the world map. I'm not gonna explore anything else, I promise. Another fortress though, I think there's another fortress right by spawn. That, that, that is worth investigating, so let's just check that out and then we'll move on to seed number 5. Guys, you have no ideas how passionate I am about finding seeds, so I go all the way when it comes to looking for cool stuff. As we build this, well, uh, another portal, let's, uh, let's go investigate, hopefully the nether fortress right at spawn. And, <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. So, you know what? This is a really good seed. This is a really good seed, I gotta say. And we may as well find out where the location of the blaze spawners are for you folks as well. Okay, here we go. Blaze spawner location number one. And it's the perfect one for blaze farming just because the room is enclosed it makes it a lot easier to farm for these guys because they don't fly around everywhere oh and by the way oh my gosh this is so good uh the blaze spawner is actually right next to that nether portal that we spawned into so if you just break the walls over on this side you'll well i mean yeah it's right there and the second one oh diamond horse armor right here folks very close to spawn as well. That is very good. That is very good. And uh, iron horse armor. That's a bit of a downgrade. You know, there's usually two blaze spawners, but I feel like I've searched everywhere, but I, I, I just can't find it. I think I might just leave it up to you guys to find that second one. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's somewhere, uh, but for now, that is seed number uh, four. It was a pretty good seed. I, I, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I, uh, so far, nothing disappointing so far in my view customary drop of death and let's go to seed number five thumbs up if you like this one guys okay this is seed number five guys help a bro out try and not skip through the video it'll help the youtube algorithm a lot say something in the comment section below that will help as well and of course if you could give a thumbs up and perhaps maybe a well a subscribe would be nice Anyway, seed number five let's let, let's keep this up this is where you spawn and as you can see spawn is already pretty awesome check out that spawn Look at all the rare biomes in one place. This is... I, I, that's a Shattered Savannah, but because it's beachside, you get... Oh, oh my gosh, I didn't realize the Shattered Savannah... Whoa! Wow, okay, I, th I think I should turn my render distance up just to showcase this, but check out spawn. This is beautiful. You got ice spikes on one side, badlands on the other side, and... <laughs> Ice Spikes and Badlands and Shattered Savannah, that's insane. Check out the fact that there's also one uh, Ice Spike way up top here. And, I mean, this is a dead giveaway, but right here, right here, you've got a road, which means on the other side, you have a village. This is sick. Uh, it's really hard to get a, a village that is between an Ice Biome and a Shattered Savannah, yet alone right by Ice Spikes and... I mean, check out that Shattered Savannah, this is insane! Uh, it, it has like this chasm going through the middle side of it, which just, it's... I think this is probably one of the best Shattered Savannahs I've seen. Huh, how many times have I said that? I, I, I guess the Shattered Savannahs just keep getting better, or I must have really bad memory. But, I mean, this middle area here, think of the things that you can actually build in the middle. It just, it, it opens up a lot of possibilities. And check out the floating bits over here. A floating island that's spewing lava into this lake. That is awesome. Check out that floating island up top. So, well, lots of floating islands. And in general, just a super looking shattered savanna. Insane. Super spawn. I think I don't need to explore too much on this seed. Just because... Well, spawn is just super awesome here. I just got to find a good way to grab a screenshot that actually encapsulates how this seed actually looks. How do I get all the awesomeness in one picture? This is impossible. Wow. I mean, isn't that a good centerpiece? I mean, you, 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 you look at the middle of the Shattered Savannah and over there is that island with that lava going down right in the middle. Super, super. This sucks. I, 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 if I take a screenshot from this side, people won't see the ice spikes. If I turn around like that, people won't see the Shattered Savannah. So, uh, I guess the Shattered Savannah wins. We'll take that screenshot instead. 
Alright, general overview of the world map. This was where you spawn. That is that super awesome village in between everything else. Again, I'm not going to go into too much detail on this one, except for the fact that you probably have an exposed stronghold over on this side. That's the only thing I'm going to visit. All right, that was absolutely worth a visit. Check out how exposed that stronghold is. Much more exposed than the one on the previous seed. You got, well, you know, all these bits over here, all the way going to this side as well. This is huge. This is probably a majority of the stronghold exposed. Anyway, folks, that is seed number five. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Thumbs up if you did. Share it with your friends. Seed number six, guys. All right, here's the seed number. This spot here is where you spawn. Now, this is another one of those shattered savanna seeds. I do love them, but again, variety is key. We've got a lot of variety so far, but we're just gonna do back-to-back -back shattered savannas here. Bamboo jungle this time instead of ice spikes and do have a look at the layout of this shattered savanna. Check out that huge chunk of floating rock with the waterfall going over on that side. And then join me on this other side over here. Awesome waterfall going on as well. A lot of you folks have been asking about the seeds that I uh, of the seed that I used on my uh, survival world. You guys wanted to know what seed that was. To be honest, <laughs> these seeds are better. But I will reveal that seed soon. We do have a ruined portal over here and this to me looks like a huge meteor probably hit this area right there it's almost like a perfect circle right there but anyway let, let's let's check out the main highlights so shattered savanna looks very good this part of the river uh, of the the waterfall looks really really cool nice holes on the shattered savanna good candidate for a place to build on and let's just go check out that village real quick so this is the savanna village that is partially going into a bamboo biome as well and if you haven't noticed yet over on this side is bamboo hills which is even rarer than bamboo jungles so well super super rare combo quick screenshot okay that's the seed map for seed number that was seed number six yeah that was seed number six that's where you spawn. That's the Shattered Savannah. Huge bamboo, ju oh, sorry, huge jungle over on this side. Bamboo jungle over here and on top here as well, as well as up on that side too. Let's go to seed number seven. Here's the seed number. Right, here's an overview of the world map. So this is where you spawn. Not a bad location at all. You have a village right by spawn, which again is always a pretty good thing. Very nice scenery around spawn as well you've got a ruined nether portal by spawn nice mountain range behind it and let's check out if there's good loot on that ruined portal real quick give me silk touch give me silk touch and yeah nothing <laughs> just five highlights on this seed and this is the first one over on these coordinates we have a pretty nice survival island village it's just well, I, I i like it when you have islands that are basically just well just a village and nothing more than a village. It's 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 always cool. So that's that. Point of interest number two. So this village on these coordinates here has a pretty good combination. It's a snow village by a Badlands biome, a small strip right there. The thing I like about this one is it's right by a warm ocean biome, which means if you turn it to midnight, things will glow beautifully. I love that. That just looks friggin' awesome. So anyway, let's make this one quick. That's highlight number two. Let me show you why I really like this seed. So on these coordinates, you have another ice village. It has two ravines this time, one over on this side here and another one right over there. And right behind it is an awesome ice spikes biome with a waterfall going on there. Very nice ice river going through the village. Is that a ruined nether portal? Yes, we do have a ruined nether portal by, right by this village as well. And on the ravine right next to the village, if we go all the way down and over here, we actually have mine shafts as well. So very good potential for a loot. Here's a, a spider spawner right there. Right guys, coordinates on your screen. And this is actually the highlight of seed number seven. And for once, for once, it's not about villages or it's, it's just 
basically scenery and just I mean check out that mushroom biome it's only bordered by an ice spikes biome there's nothing else around it so it's, it's two super rare biomes just right next to each other it's the perfect place to build and honestly if you check out the surroundings it's also surrounded by warm ocean biomes so this just looks super definitely an awesome place to build and not too far from spawn anyway screenshot so that sums up seed number seven. I hope you guys like that one as well. I still have three more awesome seeds for you guys. I probably saved the best one for last. I'm not sure, but let's see. Right, this one is seed number eight on your screen, of course. Whoa, holy crap. <laughs> Right, you look better with hair. So before we even start, this seed has a very interesting spawn location. Right here we have an overground ocean ruin. Does not happen too often. Makes it a lot easier to actually uh, farm for tridents, but truth be told, these guys are painful. I know that because I die a lot from them in hardcore mode, which kind of sucks. Anyway, you've got an emerald and a luck of the sea fishing rod early on, which is not too bad, of course. And if you turn to your left over on this side, you've got this massive ravine right at spawn and right here you got a giant tree taiga biome which of course is also one of the rarest biomes in game over on these coordinates over here this may just be a footnote to the seed but it's not a bad footnote at all great alps style village it's a taiga village and it's multi-layered just the way i like it you've got houses all the way up top up to here you also got a farm all the way up over there a nice mountain range behind it as well this house is very nicely laid out the stairway is, well, very nicely placed, although sort of precarious, but I mean, who cares? Over here, we've also got a nice house that is, well, I guess it's, um, it's, well, yeah, <laughs> what a scary place to build a house, to be honest. Anyway, this village is not bad. It's pretty good. I mean, right by a jungle biome, always good. Multi-biome villages, you know, you know the drill. I like that. But the highlight of this seed really is at spawn. So let me just uh, respawn back to, well, this location right here. And all you got to do from spawn is turn to your left. And you can already see parts of the village over on this side here. And check it out. Check it out. It's an awesome taiga coastal village partially in a giant tree taiga biome surrounded by a jungle biome and check that out we have a jungle pyramid right by a taiga village that does not happen very often and check this out check this out check this out we actually have a reminder to turn on your uh, bell notifications and uh, well other than that we actually have a shipwreck that is buried inside the sand that's kind of cool in a way. If you want to go to storytelling mode, let's say these guys are, well, settlers. They went to this awesome place, found an awesome pyramid, and decided to call this place home. And on top of that, to commemorate their discovery, they, they decided to, well, I guess, forever immortalize their ship by putting it underground. Now, it might be kind of fun if you would like to excavate the ship. I mean, I think it's fully intact underneath. All right, and let's have a look. All right, yep, the ship is pretty much intact. Everything is still work. Yep, yeah, you got everything down here. Let's check out the loot anyway. All right, there's a chest, and whoa, check that out. See, that's why that's why they bury the ship. How many emeralds is that? That is a lot of emeralds for spawn, and lots of iron as well. That should set you up for the early game. Ten emeralds. That is a very good loot haul for for, uh, for a shipwreck chest, to be honest. Let's go look for chest number two. Here it is, and buried treasure map. Not too bad. And here's chest number three. Uh, um, uh, TNT and. Well, TNT and blast protection leggings. I guess there's an intention for that. Let's see if we can survive two TNT explosions with one blast protection three pants, right? Yeah, let's see what happens. No, no, villager, don't, don't. Move away, move away. <laughs> well, that didn't go so well. Let's just have a quick look at the map. You've got a decent assortment of biomes here, but mostly jungle. We have a bamboo jungle over here as well. Not too far from spawn. Giant tree taiga as well. Ah, that's something interesting. That nether fortress should be very close to spawn. All right, in we go. And if, if, if everything goes according to plan, it should be really cl close. 
All right, there it is. It's right here. It is literally right there. So that is very useful to have. Again, farming for... I, I'm not going to re-explain why. Holy crap, this nether fortress is huge. All right, here's the location of the first blaze spawner right here. Coordinates on your top left, of course. Oh, and here's the location of number two. That is very convenient. This is great for farming, guys. This is, well... You know the drill, you know how you farm these guys. So this is number one. All you gotta do is make a left turn over on this side, jump down, and there's your second one. Perfect location. Okay, back at spawn, I do have one last challenge for you guys. Let's go back to that village over here. Now there's a cave on this village, there's a cave. And inside the cave, there's actually a ruined nether portal. Uh, this is not the cave, that is the hole that I blew up. Right, basically the challenge was to find that underground ruined nether portal without actually uh, uh, digging through. Uh, it's a fun maze challenge, but as I was trying to find the way out, I actually found one, two, three, four, five, these are all exposed diamonds, and then there's another one over on... Wait, aha, here. There we go. So that was five, six, seven, eight, nine diamonds. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Coordinates on your screen, of course. Holy crap, I finally found the entrance. <laughs> all right, that, that was... Holy crap, that was not easy. I actually, I spent a long time doing that. All right, this is a difficult maze, believe me. If you're into mazes, try this out. This here is an opening to a cave. Right, this here is an opening to the cave, and if you fully explore this... Wait, 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 okay. This here, go in, find those mine shafts, find those diamonds, lots of loot along the way. And, well, if you... I, I gave you the coordinates to the diamonds already. If you can actually find the ruined nether portal under the village without actually uh, opening up blocks, massive props. Fun challenge. If anyone actually manages to do it, let me know. Right, so I'm not gonna show you the coordinates, and this is the ruined nether portal that I'm talking about. Believe me, it's a massive, massive, massive maze. If you manage to find it, good on you, good on you. It would be fun, it's fun, believe me. Or frustrating. Depends on how you look at it. Anyway, uh, that is seed number eight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's go to seed number nine, the second one before the last, in case you're not good with math, just like me. All right, here we go, seed number nine, seed number on your screen, let's go. Here's a seed map for number nine. Honestly, there's nothing to look at here, nothing. Over on these coordinates, which is probably a little bit far away from spawn, very interesting village here, it's an ice village. This really is just a footnote to the seed, but I mean, it's a great village. I mean, having the snow village on a plains biome means you'll have the silly little, well, um, snow, what do you call them? Well, snow. <laughs> You'll have these pieces of snow that generated on the plains biome, which is very unnatural. It's a good village, actually. I mean, you have the ice spikes biome right behind it as well. You got a blacksmith right here as well, which probably has crappy loot because, like, I have the worst luck possible. See, told you. But other than that, this is just a footnote to the seed. The only thing I want to show you here is spawn. Right, so back at spawn, back at spawn. Check this out. This is very OG. Check out this shipwreck right here. Uh, it's in case you didn't really notice it's a bug shipwreck. It's 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 really unique It's two shipwrecks in one or at least it's sort of bugged out the one on the left side is an absolutely different shipwreck from the one on the right side I mean look at that. It's a freaking mess. It's uh well, I mean uh, folks like these Probably not that good at making ships. So I mean this is what they end up with different wood tones So I mean definitely different ship so yeah, it's a, it's pretty rare to actually find these and it has diamonds and emerald at spawn and tons of iron. Just be sure you actually manage to get away with all the loot because, well, these guys will probably attack you on sight. You know, the only thing that annoys me about pillagers outposts is that why do they not have good loot on top? I mean, if it's such a, tr a struggle to actually go up here and grab loot, they should give you something better. Now, here's something that's even cooler. Other than this pillagers outpost combination with this bug shipwreck, we actually have multiple ocean what do you call ruins them? right at spawn. So <laughs> this is going to be a, it's going to be a tough spawn. I mean, there's so many hostiles here. I mean, these guys hard to deal with these guys even harder to deal with, but there is loot when it comes to, I mean, these spots here, but more often than not, they're just really, really, uh, well, they're dangerous. They're playing in hardcore mode. Think twice. So one, two, three, four, five 
ocean ruins, three of them overground, one partially overground, very annoying pillagers, outposts at spawn, and a bug shipwreck. Well, that's a pretty rare seed, and let's not take credit away from the fact that this is actually a pretty good scenery for a spawn location. It's not bad at all. Right, I'm gonna keep seed number nine short, because this video, I, I, I mean, I haven't even edited it yet, but um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be long, so let's do it. Seed number 10, final seed of the day. If you haven't already subscribed, I don't know why. Well, maybe because I suck, but uh, yeah. buttons right there. Like if you could just uh, scroll down for a second and uh, bell notifications. Anyway, let's go. Seed number 10. Okay, here we go. That's the seed number and whew, I feel good. This has been what, like five hours of recording? Final seed, let's get this over with. And this one isn't a bad one at all. Now, if you actually skipped all the way to the back of the video, uh, you should know that some of, oh crap, that face always surprises me, that some of the most awesome seeds are not at the back. Like, uh, when I record these, I'm not sure which ones are better than what. Then again, everyone has their own taste, so, well, seed number 10. Very cool spawn location. If you screw up, you die pretty much straight away, but wait, that was in, well, that was in creative mode, so, uh. Let's just do that again for dramatization. So if you accidentally fall at spawn in hardcore mode, you die straight away. So if you're looking for one of those record breaking die in hardcore mode seeds, this is the one to go for. Now we have a very, very awesome shattered Savannah village right here. Uh, I mean, check this out. I, I do, I do believe, is that a floating island? No, uh, well, it's not a floating bit, but check out how high these houses are. Uh, I do not see these many houses spawn this high very often. This is 125 blocks from, uh, well, that's 125 blocks high. And check out the scenery around you. You've got this awesome Shattered Savannah on that side. Nice lakes in the middle. More Shattered Savannah on the other side. It's just really dramatic. And then you have this awesome, well, that's also part of the village, of course. A desert village that is multi-biomed. And, well, it looks great when it goes into the Shattered Savannah biome. And right next to it, a bamboo jungle as well. It's just such a great combination. It's, it's a bit similar to the previous seed where we had a shattered savanna and a bamboo jungle, but this one's different. The structure is going all the way that high, it just looks super cool. There's a few more highlights to this seed, but before I go, just a quick screenshot of this one. That looks pretty good. Over on these coordinates here, which is around 1,500 blocks away from spawn, we do have a very nice coastal snow village partially on top of water. And according to my notes, there's a sideways shipwreck somewhere in town. We do have an overground ocean uh, ruin as well there. Where's that shipwreck? Uh, oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. It capsized over there. Or maybe if you're going to storytelling mode, it's the same as the previous one. Certainly there's some loot in there, but I'm not in the mood to go for digging right now. I mean, it's been a pretty long video and, well, it's a nice addition to the seed. Spawn was great. There's one last thing to show you on seed number 10. This one is around 2,000 blocks away from spawn. My cat's making a lot of noise back there. And it's quite unique. This one here is a Taiga Island village, with, which does not happen too often because normally when you have an island village, it's normally a plains village. This time it's a Taiga Island. Uh, well, the island is quite big, granted, but as you can see over here, Water on that side, water on that side, and well, it's just water everywhere except for this Taiga Island. Whoa, okay, finally, I'm done with the seeds video. Uh, back to spawn real quick. Uh, yeah, I mean, what do you guys think of the video? What do you guys think of the seeds? Let me know which one was your favorite. Uh, are you gonna use any of these for your world? Did you like the video? Do you like me? Do you hate me? Do you think the channel sucks? Or, uh, oh, actually, I'm an, an, a legit important question. Do I use shaders or not? I mean, this is how it looks with shaders. I mean, it does look pretty awesome. I love shaders, but I also like Minecraft without shaders. And a lot of you folks tell me that, uh, well, do your videos without shaders because it's the norm. Well, you guys let me know. I actually, I, I want to hear about that. Please comment about that. Oh, actually, one last thing. There is actually a blacksmith right at spawn here. Are we actually finally going to get good loot <laughs> on a blacksmith? Because for me, it just, it, it almost never happens. So are we, you you there, are we going to get, no, don't jump. Are we going to get good loot? He's not answering, but crappy loot. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.